Digging in, the switch hitter, Rafael Marchand, as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. First pitch coming, here it is. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. The fans didn't even get a chance to settle in their seats for the beginning of the inning. And he just blistered that ball down the line on the first pitch he saw. It stayed fair, and he's safely on second with the leadoff double. That's the way you lead off an inning. Standing in now, Aaron Savali. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Swing and a miss. A little too anxious there. One and one. Has a look. Now the pitch. Swing and he pops him up. Rizzo into foul territory. And that's going to land foul. Again, another foul ball. A runner at second, nobody out. One two is the cut fastball, but he holds back two and two. Slow little grounder left side, and a good throw gets him one gun. Stepping in next, Willie Castro. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. First pitch on its way. Man, he just missed the zone right there. One of the toughest pitches in the game, that backdoor cutter. As an offensive player, you give up on that pitch. As soon as it comes out of the hand, next thing you know, it's trying to grab the corner. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. And he'll make it up to third on the fly ball as he's in there now with two away. So the next to bat will be Joaquin Dias. And we'll see what he can do here after going deep his first time up. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. The 0 1 offering. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. All set for the start of the fourth, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Jason Hayward. Jason. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pretty good pitch right here to a left-handed power hitter. The one thing you want to do, keep the ball inside so he can't get those long arms out and extended. Really good pitcher's pitch right there, even though he didn't get the called strike. Now the 2-0 home. And a 2 1 slider is looked at for a called strike, too. Tried to get him with the cutter, but it's a full count, three and two. 
great AB up into this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him. Now, meanwhile here, this ball's hit fairly well down that left field line, and it's going to stay fair. It's a home run. Chris Bryant plates a pair with a home run. Eighth home run on the season for him, and the Cubs move out ahead 2-1. to one. I can tell you one thing you might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys you're going to get exactly what he got a really bad result. So now to the plate Ian Happ. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Looking up is the center fielder. Gone! Back-to-back -back jacks on back-to-back -back pitches. A solo home run here off the bat of Ian Happ. Home run number nine on the year. And with it, the Cubs have taken a 3-1 to -one lead. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 0. Grounded softly down the line toward first. But a foul ball, 1 and 1. Now here's the pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup, El Cambio. Listen. If you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. Here's Jock Peterson now. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Count is even at one and one to Peterson. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Three runs already home here. Now a changeup, but it misses just a little below the zone. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Now batting. Next to hit, Michael Papirski comes into this at Papirsky. bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First offering. And he lays off there 1 and 0. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1 and 2 hole. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. 
You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. And it's fouled away. Three runs, five hits, no errors so far for the Cubbies. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Cubs are on top, three to one. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And with it comes Javi Baez to the plate. This is where the pressure starts to build a little bit on an offense. It's not late enough. I mean, you don't have to start panicking right now. But this is where you're looking for someone to light a spark to get back in this game. First pitch on its way. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far. But he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. The 1 0. Hit in the air down the right field line. On the move is Hayward. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the oh inning. Number three. So Five. one gone in the inning now, and that'll bring Harper. in the right fielder, Bryce Harper. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Popped him up. Horner is there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. So next to bat will be Giancarlo Stanton. Struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, kind of shocked. He got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. Now a ball ripped into deep center field. Hap is there, and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. Yeah. The sidewalk talks from Houston to New York, writing your words of fat talk from LA to Newport, walking home from school to walk in the ball courts. Now to the plate, here is Jose Iglesias. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. First pitch on the way. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Hit back up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. With that, the Cubs get their leadoff man aboard. Hey, nice AB right there. With the pitcher coming to the plate, your job is to get on in front of him. This should be interesting. Does he get the bunt sign? Do we play a little billy ball and pull it back and try and play chicklets with the third baseman? See what happens. Into the box, Dan Winkler. And look out. Oh, that ran in and got him. And intentional or not, you do not want to be hitting pitchers out there. Oh, boy. Pro pitchers belong to a closed fraternity. So you don't usually see that very often. And anytime it does happen, folks start hanging on the top steps of the dugout. These things usually don't go unpunished. In now is Nico Horner. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Hey, two options if you're standing on the bump right now. Have to find a way to punch this guy's ticket or roll a double play. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Change up, and he ain't buying it. 1 and 2. Big spot right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now, and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Dias is going to get back, and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. 
And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. That was a tough play, so let's take another look at it with Showtrack. He seemed to get a solid read off the bat, took a good angle at it, and he covered over 100 feet to make the grab. And I'm sure he'll be getting some high fives for that one. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward as he'll watch a sinker here that misses its ball one. So far this season with runners in scoring position Hayward is below the Mendoza line the batting average under 200 unfortunately he'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season but he can beat you in a variety of different ways and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive with two guys already on pretty good shot he's going to get a challenge pitch right here counts even to Hayward two balls and two strikes. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to induce the ground ball to get a double play. 2 2 pitch is fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. 2 2 is a changeup that misses 3 and 2. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Here's Chris Bryant now. He's got an opportunity here in a bases-loaded situation and seems like the right man for the job. I'd say so. He's the team leader in RBIs. Time for the right man in the right spot. First offering on its way. Hit in the air down the right field line. On the move is Harper. And he makes the catch in the corner. And they'll tack on a run with the sack fly. It's now a four to one ball game. That's a spot right there as a pitcher where you'll trade in out for a run anytime. Base is loaded and only one run scores on the sacrifice fly. Stepping in now, Ian Happ. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's got hits in both of his at-bats so far in this one. Looking to minimize the damage here. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Runners on first and third, two away. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0 and 2 count. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead, the make it 5 to 1. Anthony. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Breaking pitch and this bounces in front of the catcher. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. One and two now as that one's fouled off. In tight with the slider, two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Two balls and two strikes to Rizzo. To short. Scooped up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So two runs on two base hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Home half of the fifth coming up. Cubs lead it 5-1. to one.
with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian here as Francisco Lindor gets ready to kick off the inning. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Fouled off. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. The 1 1 home. Swing and a liner. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. First pitch on the way. Rowdy Tellez is at the plate as he watches ball one. The 1 0. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Here it is, the 3 0. He's laid off, but in there for strike one. Stealing that strike on 3 0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. The three and one pitch. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Not too often you see him at bat go from three and zero to a strikeout, so that's a pretty good job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the three zero take, but he still had to put it in the zone. Into the box now, Rafael Marchand. And he puts it on the ground to second. Iglesias is there. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started and in steps a former World Series hero the outfielder Jock Peterson. Davey Garcia takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Here's the first pitch. Oh and one count and the pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul. Into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch. Oh and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now it's one and two. I like that he tried to tie him up inside on that pitch but it was a little bit of a risky situation because if you're off just a little bit you can end up plunking a guy. That's the last thing you want to do when you've got a guy 0 and 2. Late making contact on that swing and we'll do it again on 1 and 2. 
Now a curveball misses inside. Fouled away. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there, and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Back goes Harper. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo home run there for Jock Peterson. Home run number nine on the year, and it's now a six to one ball game. Yeah, and if you remember the previous pitch, he couldn't get around on a fastball and was mad at himself. Well, there's nothing to be mad about anymore unless you're the guy standing on the mound wondering what just happened. In now, Michael Papierski. Now batting. As he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. He's through first and hustling for second. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Standing in now, Jose Iglesias. Ball one to start the at bat. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2 0. Well, on the mound, he hasn't looked comfortable since the moment he came in out of the pen. Just not fluid with his delivery at all. 3 0 to him now. Has a look, now the pitch. He loses him on ball four. Up next for the Cubs, the pitcher. Dan now to the plate, the pitcher, Dan Winkler. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And no surprise to see the pitcher squaring around as he gets this one down. The second for one. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. The next hub up, Nico Horner. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here's the first pitch. With some traffic on the base pads, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. Now a change up in on the hands that evens it at one and one. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Fly ball right down the line and left, but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Runners are at first and third, one away. On the ground to second base, this could be two. To second for one, on to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. They couldn't turn the inning ending double play. They just get the force out at second, and the runner scores from third. Now with the plate is Jason Hayward. It was a walk in his last trip. He's set. Here it comes. Horner leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. This ball will be chopped foul. Here comes the one two. That's popped up. And Baez will put this one away to retire the side. 
So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. 9-1-2 and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. The Cubs lead this one 7-1. Gene Story is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. And now the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. That batting average hovering in the high 230s. Four home runs and eight runs batted in. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Mm, chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0 2, 1 and 2, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. And that's into the corner a foul ball in right. The 0 2 once more. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Now so the lineup Second flips base. over and digging in. Really? Willie Castro. He flew out in his last AB. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Strike one to start the at bat. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. One out nobody on. Swing and he puts a charge into this one high and deep and you can't forget about it. This ball is gone. A solo shot down the line in right. Third home run for him on the year, and it's a 7-2 game now. Well, there's nothing that makes you feel as helpless as a ball like this. The pitcher and the right fielder were wishing and hoping it would hook foul right of the pole, but no such luck. Off the foul pole and gone. At the plate, Joaquin Dias as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Here comes the 0 1. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Here's the 1-1. One, one. A curveball hit right back at him. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. And that brings up Javi Baez. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder on the run, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And he is in the second with a two out double. And this is just a cut fastball. He's trying to sneak in the back door. He's unable to get it done. Leaves it right over the heart of the plate. And that's just too easy for a guy like this. He's licking his chops as the ball arrives. And he drills it to the outfield for an extra base hit.
Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. No hits to this point. Oh and one the count to Bryce Harper tries to shave the corner with that pitch but it's one and one tough spot to hit here as a hitter you have a base open so you have to almost be trying to think like the pitcher is he going to try to pitch around me or is he going to come in the strike zone. Here's the one and one delivery. Hold hard, but it's foul down the first base side. Baez at second with two down. Again, he sends it out of play. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Another try at 2 2. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you've got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Now the three and two pitch and he lost him ball four as Harper will reach. Yeah and if you can make it all the way to the sixth inning before you give up a walk you're doing something right. He's been very efficient so far so we'll see if he can get back on track here. Digging in next Giancarlo Stanton. He lined out in his last trip so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, and off the bat, he had to think he had extended his hitting streak. Luckily, he has another chance to keep it going right here. He's set and the pitch. And a ball, 1 0. Oh. Two men are on with two men out. Comes back with the cutter and gets it by him, 1 and 1 now. In front there is this one's pulled off to the left side. Looking to punch him out again the pitch. I'm seeing all the signs of fatigue right now. This is when you really have to bear down mentally as a pitcher. Two two. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. A three run home run for Giancarlo Stanton. 19th home run for him on the season, and that lead is trimmed to 7 5 here. We've seen these squads go yards six times now today. This game has developed into an absolute slugfest, huh, guys? Yeah, Matty B. This is a, one of those six pack kind of games, D Row. Six bombs already in this one. Yeah, just missed execution, bad pitching. There's going to be a lot of guys running some extra poles after this Francisco. So here's Francisco Lindor now. As he'll ground this one foul for the first strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. One on its way. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0 and 2. 
Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam sandwich. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. The next 0 2 is taken. That's ball one. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. And the pitch. And pitch number 33 in the inning will be the lucky one as this is swung on and missed to retire the side. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. We're through six full. The Cubs are on top, seven to five. Welcome.